Hey everyone, today we're going to do body waves. I love body waves. They're so much fun. And the goal is to look as wavy as possible, just like water, right? Now, before we get started, I have a little announcement. I've teamed up with my longtime friend, Vera, another pole dancer, and we will be launching our Patreon January 1st super exciting so yes it's gonna be both of us you're gonna get content from both of us i have the link down below in my description here so go check it out for more info and let's get started okay so let's get into it i'm gonna show you kind of like the basic body wave where you start where you can start learning it and then i'm gonna show you my body wave which is like a variation, it's a little different. So now, let's start with the basics. A body wave is a wave with the body, right? So for the body wave, you first wanna start simple. You're gonna start with both feet planted and you're gonna face your pole here. You're gonna grab your pole. Some people grab like this, some people grab like this. You can do whatever you want with the hands and the arms. Whatever makes you look more ooey gooey, I always say, like more wavy, fluid, just do that. I always do crazy stuff with my arms and it's a little different every time. So for my basic body wave, I'm here. I want a little bit of space here. And I want you to start practicing isolating uh, parts, areas of the body. So I'm gonna face my pole. I'm gonna dive in, right? In the beginning, yes, use your head, okay? I personally don't like using my head. I think that this is only for the purpose of learning and understanding the wave. But once you start understanding the wave and you get more comfortable, I wouldn't use the head. And later I'll explain why. So we're going to lift up our stilettos because we're sending our weight forward and our weight is in the balls of our feet, right? In the boxes of our shoes here. I'm going to grab my pole. I'm going to dive in head first. Then I'm going to bring the chest to the pole and I'm going to pull the shoulders back and down. Don't go anywhere until you pull those shoulders back. A lot of people forget about that. You know, we're all kind of tight here. So we kind of just like skip the chest and go for the belly. I want you to pull those shoulders back, open the chest, and then the belly goes to the pull, then the hips. And I'm gonna tuck in here, right, my pelvis. We're doing this ugly butt thing. Now I'm gonna bring my hips to the pole. Now I'm gonna send my hips back and sit them back all the way, okay? Make your movement really big, as big as you can. You don't wanna limit your movement, right? You want to make it big, right? Come all the way forward, tuck in and all the way back. And then just pull up with your arms. So I'm using my arms to like pull, right? Myself, I used to pull a lot. I'm lifting up my stilettos because when I do my body waves, my feet are gonna turn in and out here. And I wanna lift up my stilettos to allow that to happen. Again, I'm facing my pole. Grab your pole, lift up the heels, dive in, head, chest, shoulders back, belly, hips, back. Head, chest, belly, hips, back, head, chest, belly, hips, back. And you see my toes move in and out. They're moving in, out, right? That's why I have to lift up the heel. Another thing I like to do is 
Sometimes I actually like to touch the pole with my chest, with my belly. I don't know, it kind of helps me a little bit more. So you're here, dive, chest, belly, hips, out. And that way I can kind of imagine I'm touching and I'm peeling away here. Now, this is the basic body weight. Once you practice this, we have another progression, right? The next step. My body wave is actually two movements, okay? The classic body wave, we're just doing a wave, right? Wave. Well, I'm doing a wave and I'm doing hip circles. This makes me look more ooey gooey, I feel. So not am I only doing this, but I'm making circles with my hips. So for this variation, the body wave I do, I have the back foot planted on the floor, okay, totally. And I have this front leg up here. So that back uh, leg is really supporting me. You know, I can bend the knee, I can put my weight in that back leg. This front leg is here to look pretty. Okay, we wanna kinda distract how the back leg looks. So you wanna make it nice and pretty, nice and pointed here. And you can kinda hide it a little bit sometimes, the back leg. So I do my body weight from here, kind of like a little turnout here, right? Instead of just facing the pole, both legs are the same. Also, I don't use my head. I just dive in with my chest. This is great for purposes of performing engagement. You don't want to be looking at the pole, looking up at the pole, up. you know. You want to be looking at your audience. Also, with this variation, with the legs like this, I can turn out a little bit and I can engage with my audience. Now, if you're not a performer or you don't compete, that's totally fine. Maybe your audience is your phone, your Instagram, your videos that you post, you have an audience, right? Engagement there is, is really good as well. So that's why I like this variation much better. So once you understand the basic body wave and you really practice slow and you really wanna isolate, go little by little, head, chest, belly, hips, out. Head, chest, belly, hips, out. Once you get comfortable with that, then you can move on to this variation. So I'm gonna have the back foot back here, right? My weight is on that back leg. Left foot out here, nice and pretty. Little bit of space. I'm gonna grab my pole. I'm gonna look to my phone, maybe off to the side here and go back and forth. And I'm gonna dive in with my chest. Pull those shoulders back and down, then the belly, then the hips. And I'm always on my point on that front foot. I even like to do weird stuff with it sometimes and really round that ankle, kind of like a sickle. I think it looks cool, gives a little illusion. So now chest, belly, hips, out. And remember, wave, take the hips around. Wave, hips around. So I'm waving. Once my hips are up toward the pole, I bring it out forward and back and around. Out toward the camera, back around. Out, back around. So this is like a little variation of the classic body weight. It's different. I'm adding this 
little hip circle to make myself look more fluid, more wavy, more ooey gooey. Why not? Another thing I like to do to add to the illusion is that front arm. I always like to, when I'm in this position here, when I'm kind of caving in, I take that arm and I pull it forward. And I kind of mimic my body with my arm. It just adds to the illusion, right? So I'm here, arm, back, arm, back, arm. And let's do it together. So remember, take it nice and slow. Okay, let's dive in. Chest, belly, hips, and sit back. Chest, belly, hips, and send the hips back. So guys, have fun with that. Play around with it. Look in the mirror. See what works. Have fun. Now, as always, try the other side. Let me mention again, me and Vera, we're going to be launching our Patreon January 1st. Start off the year right. You're going to be getting a lot of exclusive, amazing content from both of us every month. So go check it out. The link is down below. And thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And guys, happy holidays.